Welcome to African Farming. My name is Batavile Murutwani. Today we are at Onewa Farms, which is situated in Tarleton, just outside Krugersdorp. We are talking to Eric Muani, who is the director of Onewa Farms. Eric, thanks for having us. You're most welcome. Now I see you have a lot of structures here and you're farming underneath the shade. I'm sure this has a lot of challenges. There's, 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 there's disadvantages and there's advantages. Um, the advantages is whatever we're planting, especially the peppers, we're getting great yield. It's easier also to control the pests inside the structures. Um, the only disadvantage is quite expensive to set this up. Um, but there's more advantages than disadvantages. We are in Tarleton and it rains a lot here. And obviously where there's moisture, there's diseases and pests. Um, tell us about this. Biggest challenges, we're prone to hail. We're also prone to um, extremely cold temperatures. In terms of the hail and heavy rain, they normally bring in a lot of pests and diseases. Top of the list is we've got a lot of the white flies, a whole lot of the aphids. Let's talk about spraying for pests and diseases. What sprays do you use and how often do you do it? Okay, so we were, we were introduced, we've always had problems of white flies and aphids. And then we're going to introduce to a product um, from Cotiva called uh, Closure. So it, it, it sort of handles all our aphids, all our um, white flies. And we spray um, sort of once every six weeks or once every two months. So we do what we call scouting. Where somebody would normally walk in once or once every day, uh, check if there's pests and um, if there are pests identified, then we start the spraying program. I notice a bit of white spots in the leaves or the peppers. Is that a disease or is that part of the spray? It's, it is a, actually not diseases, but it's part of the spraying. So humidity brought in a whole lot of problems, um, which brought in the powdery mildew and the downy mildew. So what we then do is we spray certain products that deals with the downy mildew and the powdery mildew. But over and above uh, that, we've got some fertilizers that we call them the foliar spray, the ones that we spray on the leaves. So you normally you'll find those white spots on the leaves. It's normally either the powdery mildew uh, that we're treating or is the foliar mix fertilizer. Doesn't that leave residue on the, on the fruit? Definitely not. So what happened is for every product that you, you use, the, it has got the waiting period. So it would normally tell you um, once you've sprayed, how many days can you harvest? A lot of the um, uh, good products currently we're using have got a waiting period of a day uh, also, but we normally give it about two to three days before we do our harvesting. But no, we don't have any residue left on any of the products. We are talking to a familiar face in the African farming family, Freddie from Coteva. Freddie, nice to see you. Oh, nice to meet you again, uh, Tabi. How are you doing? Uh, I'm all right, man. Thank you, man. Now, the control of pests and diseases in an operation like this, how important is it and why is it important to do it at the right time? The first thing that should come into mind, or what I advocate other farmers to do, is to consider scouting. And I would like to describe scouting as the best insurance policy. By scouting, that means you monitor the presence of pests and diseases. We need to understand the phenological stages of the plant. We need to understand the life cycle of the pests because with that in mind, knowing the pests that affect examples like peppers, you need to know that are there trips and what time of the year do we get them? So it's very imperative to have that in mind in terms of controlling pests and diseases. There are also dumping areas, you know, uh, areas where water uh, logging takes place. It could be the issue of splashes, irrigation, something like that. That could be a building site or a growing site of diseases. One thing for sure that I don't want to forget about Tabby is the issue of weeds. Weeds, they don't only affect the growth of, of the plants, competition of nutrients, uh, you know, moisture but they also become habitats. They harbor pests and diseases. So you need to make it a point that your area is clean, it's weed free, because those are the areas where aphids stay and certain diseases. So it's very important that's where control of pests and diseases start. You just mentioned aphids. Now, we are in an area that drains a lot and Uneo Farms has had a problem with uh, white flies and aphids. How are you guys as Coteva handling that problem for them? What we, we do as Coteva AgroScience, we give a solution that does not affect beneficial insects. Beneficial insects, they are something like uh, uh, ladybugs, uh, assassin bugs, lace wings. They don't need to be affected by the product that we recommend a farmer to use. So it, what it means, the product has to control the white flies. 
the aphids, and they fall under sap feeding insects. To give you an example, it's just a, an example of a certain product called, called Glossa 240SC. It's a sap feeding insecticide that controls the likes of the products, that, the, the insects that you have mentioned, the white flies, the aphids, you know, and, 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 and the trips as well. Let's not forget the trips. It's always important to check the underside of the of, of, of your pepper as an example, pepper plant, because white flies or aphids, they tend to stay under there. Then there are things like the thrips as well. They love to move around you know, the phloem stages and other things. So it's very important to know the life cycles of the plant, of, I mean of the pest, as well as the phenological uh, stages of, of, of the peppers and control measures to act on that. Freddy, thank you so much for your time. Thank you, you're most welcome. For more content like this, log on to hashtag African Farming or AfricanFarming.com. And remember, we farm better together. Get the necessary cover for you and your family in the event of unforeseen misfortune. The African Farming Protector Plan offers you comprehensive funeral cover for your entire family plus extended family at an affordable cost. Our product also offers benefits such as monthly discounts on groceries, discounted bus tickets, ambulance services, and trauma and assault assistance, to name a few. For more information on the African Farming Comprehensive Funeral Plan, SMS African Farming to 45269 and get the peace of mind you deserve.